Scientists in Mexico revealed what they said were the corpses of aliens. Yeah, the video of those little bodies sparked a lot of skepticism as to whether the figures were fake. Archaeologists are rewriting the history of our planet as we know it. With every new captivating discovery, our perception of the past continues to shift significantly as scientists scramble to explain the unexplainable. Believe it or not, scientists can't explain these 10 things. Number 10. San Pedro Mountains, Mummy Our world is filled with finds that will make you question the widespread perception of history, discoveries that will make your imagination run wild. One of such enigmatic pieces locked away with the earth was brought to light in October 1932. While digging for gold in the San Pedro Mountains, Carbon County, Wyoming, two prospectors, Frank Carr and Cecil Maine, discovered what could easily be described as the find of the century. After blasting through some thick rock, trying to dislodge a large vein of gold which was stuck in the crevice, they saw what appeared to be a door to a small room. The room measures some four feet in height, four feet in width, and is about 15 feet deep. It was like walking into a portal to another dimension, and the men found themselves wondering where in the world they were. But as strange as things were right now, it was only about to get crazier. As the duo explored the room, they discovered a strange piece, sitting quietly in the darkness, frozen in time for years unknown. Shining their flashlights on the piece, they discovered what looked like the mummified remains of a tiny person. An X-ray analysis confirmed the idea that circled through the minds of several analysts and anthropologists who spent ample time examining the mummy. This was an anencephalic infant. Anencephaly is a condition that creates a cranial deformity which gives a baby the appearance of a miniature adult. Radiocarbon analysis dated the remains to about 1,700 BC, and DNA testing revealed it to be a Native American. But this explanation seems too implausible for many people. There is a tale about little people, mythical beings who inhabited the region of Wyoming long before the dawn of civilization. Could this mummy be the only living witness of such a mysterious civilization? We may never really know. Number 9. Crystal Skulls Between the late 19th and 20th centuries, Central America was hit with a wave of mysterious discoveries. Crystal skulls were turning up everywhere, sparking the curiosity of many who sought to uncover the mysteries surrounding these finds. Many people claimed that the skulls were artifacts from the Aztec and Mayan cultures, and they were believed to possess mystical powers that could both heal and kill. At the time, every wealthy collector wanted to get their hands on one of these skulls, as it became a major status symbol. Some of these skulls were life-sized, while others were miniature, and with each discovery, the curiosity of the archaeological community only grew wider and wider. There were so many sensationalized stories about these skulls. Some said they were from the cultures that moved into Central America from the lost city of Atlantis, while others hewed tales of both spiritual and alien origins. A total of 13 of these skulls were found, and they eventually became dispersed around the world. Among many of the sensational stories surrounding these mysterious skulls was one that even claimed that if these 13 skulls were ever united in one place, the secrets vital to the survival of mankind would be revealed adding another layer of mystique to the already enigmatic story. One of such skulls that gained massive popularity back in the day was discovered by renowned English adventurer Frederick Mitchell Hedges while he was leading an expedition in British Honduras, now known as Belize. Hedges and his daughter were examining the Mayan ruin of Lubantun when they accidentally stumbled upon this crystal skull. In his book, Danger, My Ally, he revealed that the skull dated back at least 3,000 years, building a captivating story around the find. He also gave it a captivating mythology, claiming that it had the power to take the lives of those who mocked it, as well as the ability to heal all manners of things. Following Hedge's death in 1959, his daughter Anna took the baton and ran wildly with it, taking the crystal skull on tour. She would regale the audiences and interviews with stories of how she had found the skull underneath an altar in a ruined temple. Scientifically, though, 
The real origin of the skull was never properly identified, nor did anyone decode what purpose it was made to serve. Number 8. Atacama Skeleton Back in 2003, the world was thrown into a massive frenzy following a strange discovery that was made in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. Originally buried within the rubbles of the ghost town of La Noria, the Atacama skeleton is the mummified remains of what looked like a mix of a miniature man and an alien. The mummy was strikingly small and measured just six inches long. The top of the skull has this distinct conical shape that bears a striking semblance to the Hollywood depiction of extraterrestrial beings. The being also had fewer ribs than you would naturally expect in a man, further fueling the argument that this was indeed a non-human entity. Ufologists and pseudoscientists had a field day with this discovery as they continued to unwrap layers upon layers of speculations and unfounded theories in the search for the origin of this mysterious being. At first, many people poked holes in the credibility of such a find, claiming that the mystifying figure could have been a hoax or a cleverly crafted plot to deceive everyone with a sensational find. But X-ray analysis revealed that this was indeed the remains of a living being. For many years, the riddle has remained unsolved, as scientists found themselves traveling in circles as they tried to solve this mystery. Then, in the 2010s, the scientific community had a breakthrough with this case. After careful analysis, scientists finally figured out without any iota of doubt that this was indeed a human skeleton. And although it was initially claimed that the Atacama skeleton belonged to a premature human fetus, this claim was later dispelled. The remains were identified as belonging to a female of South American descent who suffered from a rare condition that made her super tiny. Further analysis also revealed that the DNA of the Atacama child contained seven genes associated with bone and facial malformation, premature joint fusion, dwarfism, and a rare bone aging disorder. These conditions were said to have contributed to its unusual appearance. Radiocarbon dating also revealed that the skeleton had been buried in the Atacama Desert for about 500 years. However, on the other side of the spectrum, there are many scientists who do not entirely agree with these assertions. According to these skeptics, the genetic makeup had nothing to do with Ada's appearance, and the shape of the skull was probably due to pregnancy or birth complications. This discovery has continued to generate a huge buzz in the scientific community, and nobody has really been able to figure out anything concrete or conclusive about the origin of the mummy, and the mystery goes on and on. Number 7. Three-Fingered Alien Mummy We are not alone in the universe, and with every new discovery we make, it becomes clearer and clearer that these grounds on which we stand have been trodden by beings from other worlds at certain points in history. One such evidence proving the existence of extraterrestrial life was the mummified remains of Maria, a 5th century mummy, which scientists say has a different anatomical structure to humans. It comes after Mexico's first public congressional hearing on UAPs, where look at that, the alleged remains of two non-human beings were revealed. The mummy was discovered in a Peruvian cave and has caused a massive stir among seasoned scientists as everyone scrambled to provide the most plausible explanation for the existence of such a troubling artifact. Even more disconcerting is the fact that Maria's remains were not found alone. When researchers dug out the mummy inside a tomb in Nazca, Peru, she was found in the company of a nine-month-old child named Vavida and four male mummies. Each of these mummies had two arms, two legs, a head, a pair of eyes, and a mouth. Analysis of the chemical composition of the tissues revealed that they bore an uncanny resemblance to humans. To further establish the nature of the remains, scientists conducted a DNA analysis and they also confirmed that they possessed 23 pairs of chromosomes, just like humans do. But here's where the twist comes in. You see, even though each of the mummies looked human, they were actually not humans. The anatomical structure of the mummies is entirely different from ours. According to the findings by the researchers who were tasked with studying the mummies, Maria's rib structure had an unusual rounded shape, with some bones even semicircular. Her head was also elongated at the back giving the appearance of an extraterrestrial being. 
radiocarbon dating of the mysterious mummies revealed that they were over 1,000 years old, further deepening the mystery surrounding the discovery. The discovery also caused a huge stir among ufologists and believers in the existence of extraterrestrial life, with many citing the discovery as undeniable evidence of the existence of alien life right here on our green earth. Even more disturbing is the fact that the beings were noted to possess strong yet lightweight bones, and they lacked teeth, which isn't a characteristic feature of any human species. But the most captivating feature was the three-fingered hands, which bear an uncanny representation to the Hollywood depiction of aliens. The creatures with three-fingered hands and elongated heads look like something out of a Hollywood movie. If these were indeed remains of extraterrestrial beings, we could be looking at a possible candidate for find of the century. But the cloud of mystique continues to loom large over this find, creating a wave of curiosity among archaeologists and anthropologists. Even after years of research, the secrets of their origin remain locked in the dark hallways of history. But one day, we hope to crack these doors open and unveil the answers to the many, many questions that continue to plague our minds and hearts about the real history of extraterrestrial activity on our planet. Number 6. The Ruins of Atlit Yam Located off the coast of Atlit, Israel is a place stranger than fiction. Welcome to Atlit Yam, a submerged ancient Neolithic village which was dated to be between 8,900 to 8,300 years old. This place is steeped in mystique, and the findings that have been made at these depths have continued to astound and captivate scientists and seasoned researchers. Let's take a deeper dive into the history and structure of this ancient monumental site. Since 1960, several submerged settlements and shipwrecks have been discovered on the Carmel coast due to the influx of large-scale sand quarrying. While surveying the area in the search for shipwrecks in 1984, marine archaeologist Ehud Galili spotted these ancient remains. When he ventured deeper into the depths, what he discovered was simply astonishing. Buried right there in a watery grave were remains of rectangular houses and hearth places, evidence of a long-forgotten human civilization. As he scoured the area even further, the researcher stumbled upon a well, which currently lies 35 feet below sea level, constructed of dry stone walling, with a diameter of 5 feet and a depth of 20 feet. Within the well, the curious scientist uncovered several interesting finds, including flint tools, artifacts made of ground bone and stone, and animal bones in two separate layers. The upper layer of the well also contained partly articulated animal bones, which he presumed were disposed of in the well after they went out of use. According to the theory put forward by the scientist, the water in the well must have gotten increasingly contaminated by seawater, forcing the inhabitants of the settlement to abandon their homes and seek other habitats. But that's not even the most fascinating part of this discovery. As the researchers ventured even further into the mysterious village, Galilee discovered a stone semicircle containing seven megaliths weighing up to 1,600 pounds each. One big question that has continually pervaded the minds of scientists was how the ancient humans were able to carve a structure this massive without the help of power tools or other advanced machinery. Adding another layer of mystique to the mix were the cup marks which were found carved into the stones. The stones were also said to have been arranged around a freshwater spring, leading to speculations as to whether the site was used for a water ritual. Other fascinating discoveries made at the site include the unearthing of ten flexed burials, located both inside the houses and the vicinity of the settlement. Scientists also dug up the skeleton of a woman and child at the site in 2008, and a deep analysis of the remains showed that this might actually be the earliest known case of tuberculosis. But there was still so much more to be discovered at this site. During an excavation embarked on by the University of Haifa on October 1, 1987, a complete human burial was found in a remarkable state of preservation. The skeleton was found under 33 feet of water, with the remains oriented in a flexed position and laid on the side. Scientists were stunned at this discovery, but even more intriguing was the fact that the burial was dated to be about 8,000 to 10,000 years old 
further expanding the air of mystique surrounding the site. But here's the craziest part. No one can really tell who exactly made these structures, nor have scientists been able to determine the civilization that existed in the space before it became submerged underwater. According to scientists, the site was probably covered by the eustatic rise of sea levels following the end of the last ice age. Even though we have been able to unearth a bulk of the precious archaeological treasures buried within these depths, there is still so much we do not know. As we progress in our study of this ancient side, we set our sight on the unanswered questions, with the hope that someday we may be able to finally dispel the cloud of mystique surrounding the site. Before we go on with the rest of the video, check out our subscribers' pick for today. As we travel through every destination on this list, we're astounded by the fact that scientists have not been able to explain these 10 discoveries. But there's more. Feast your eyes on this strange mummified head of what appears to be a humanoid being. This find, once locked behind the secret doors of classified government documents and research, was recently made public as the United States intelligence agencies continue to open up about the alien artifacts that have been in their possession since time immemorial. As is typical with this secretive government, all evidence of extraterrestrial life have always been vehemently denied and replaced with seemingly plausible explanations. So it's quite surprising that the United States has recently begun to come out, showcasing undeniable evidence of contact with alien tech and even remains of extraterrestrial beings. But many continue to be skeptical about these discoveries, combating these concrete proofs with claims of massive hoaxes and conspiracy theories. Do you believe our world has come in contact with aliens at any point in our history? Or are these just over-sensationalized stories? Let us know in the comments. Now let's get back to the video. Number 5. The Shroud of Turin this next discovery is rooted in mystique, with many unanswered questions surrounding its existence and origin. This is the Shroud of Turin, a marvelous artifact with the supposed face and back of Jesus Christ imprinted on it. This piece of ancient artistry has been venerated for centuries by the Church as the actual burial shroud used to wrap the body of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion, and there are many claims that the bodily image of Jesus was miraculously imprinted on the piece of clothing after the burial. In 1898, a man named Secondo Pia found a way to obtain a clearer image of Christ's face by producing a black and white photographic negative of the piece, rather than the natural sepia color, and it was a marvel to behold. However, the history of this shroud runs deeper than that and dates back to 1354, when it was first exhibited in the new Collegiate Church of Lire, a village in north-central France. In 1389, the shroud was denounced as a forgery by the Bishop of Troyes, leading to a series of debates about its authenticity. This continued until 1453, when it was acquired by the House of Savoy and later deposited in a chapel located in Chambéry. As it made its journey through several regions, exchanging hands between rich collectors and religious devouts, one question that continued to linger was whether this was indeed the burial cloth of Jesus Christ or a well-crafted hoax that has continued to spread even after hundreds of years. In 1532, tragedy struck the Chambéry Chapel after a fire broke out, damaging the priceless artifact in the process. Later in 1578, the Savoys moved the shroud to their new capital in Turin, hence the name. Since 1683, the Shroud of Turin has found its permanent home in a specially designed building known as the Chapel of the Holy Shroud. The chapel was designed by architect Guarino Guarini and is connected to both the Royal Palace and the Turin Cathedral. Following the death of King Umberto II in 1983, the Catholic Church took possession of the Shroud from the House of Savoy in spite of the fact that they had previously vehemently denied the credibility of its origin and purpose. Hundreds of years have passed since this ancient artifact was first discovered, but we are still nowhere close to unlocking the secrets of its origin. Although scientists have constantly attempted to disprove the claims that this was Jesus' real burial cloth, many believers in this theory hold on to their claims uncompromisingly. Maybe someday, 
we will finally stumble upon the key to understanding the secrets embedded in this piece of clothing. But for now, the Shroud of Turin continues to inspire speculations and arguments both within the scientific community and the religious circles. Number 4. The Winnipesaukee Mystery Stone Back in 1817, a couple of laborers were excavating for a fence post near Lake Winnipesaukee in New England, when they discovered a clay lump quietly tucked away six feet underground. Out of curiosity, the workers picked up the lump of clay, and upon clearing out the outer layer, they discovered a strange egg-shaped artifact. This mystery stone measures approximately four inches in length and 2.5 inches in thickness with a dark hue. Although it has a striking semblance to a goose egg in shape and size, this mystery stone was as hard as granite and was definitely not a naturally occurring object. So what was it? Even after years of poring over the object, neither amateur nor professional archaeologists have been able to come to any definitive conclusions about the origin and purpose of this artifact. However, there are a few things we have been able to figure out. First is the fact that the stone is a quartzite variant and is believed to have originated from sandstone or myelinite, a fine-grained rock that's usually created by the displacement of rock layers along faults. The stone also has several holes bored into both ends, drilled from end to end with different power tools, and the surface presents the appearance of a well-polished object. But how did the ancient humans responsible for the crafting of this piece of artistic excellence achieve such an impeccable design without the use of the advanced power tools we have today? Nobody has really been able to figure that out yet. In addition to the strange construction and design, the egg-shaped stone is also adorned with peculiar carvings that feature astronomical symbols and a human face. On one side, you will find what seems to be inverted arrows, a dotted moon, and a spiral shape. On another side, you will find an ear of corn with 14 kennels, all perfectly crafted on this mysterious object. And on the underside, there is a circle containing three figures, one resembling a deer's leg, the other an unidentified large-eared animal. On the third side of the object, there is a teepee with four poles, an oval, and a human face. As we ponder on this object, we can't help but imagine the level of artistic talent that such a fine piece of ancient marvel would require. And then there's the question of its origin. At the time of its discovery, American journalists classified the object as a remarkable Indian relic but it was later categorized separately from the Native American artifacts of the 1800s. Even though there have been many speculations about its true origin and purpose, no one really knows the facts from the false theories. Till today, archaeologists and geologists continue to be mesmerized by this discovery, even as it continues to hoard its secrets beneath its hard, dark surface. Number 3. The Lalodov Plate Our world is littered with strange artifacts, remnants of lost civilizations, and several undeniable evidence of alien activity. One such artifact that has continued to ignite curiosity and mystique is the Lalodov plate. This 12,000-year-old stone dish was discovered in Nepal, and its origin has been called into question a couple of times. Even more mystifying are the strange symbols and depictions that are etched onto the disc. It clearly shows a disc-shaped, unidentified flying object as well as a figure that looks exactly like Grey, the infamous Hollywood depiction of an alien. Since its discovery, the Lalodov plate has been a subject of discussions and speculations, as ufologists echo their own theories that the plate tells the story of an ancient alien invasion. There are also several other engravings on the plate, including a reptile, a spacecraft, and a mammal, adding another layer of mystique to the puzzle. A purported explanation for the artifact was featured in one of David Gaiman's books. According to the story, the disc came from a strange species of humanoids known as the Drapas. This tribe was said to have been visited by an extraterrestrial species long before written history, and the disc was engraved with the tales of this encounter. Just as with many other artifacts surrounded by claims of alien civilizations, this artifact has been placed under strict scrutiny by the public but scientists have still not been able to present any plausible explanation for the mysteries surrounding the stone. So, it seems it's a win for the conspiracy theorists on this one. Number 2. Pre-Inca Mummies Our next discovery takes us back to Peru, 
where archaeologists have unearthed 14 previously undiscovered pre-Incan mummies while scouring through a tomb in Cajamarquilla, Peru. As they stumbled upon this burial site, a palpable sense of mystique filled the air, and the sites before them were ones no one could forget in a hurry. These mummies were placed at the entrance to the tomb, and researchers believe that these people were sacrificed as part of a strange burial ritual for the high and mighty of the society in ancient times. According to these burial practices, people were often sacrificed to accompany the dead into the afterlife, a practice that challenges the very essence of human morality. Eight of these 14 mummies were adults, while the rest were children. A deep analysis of the remains indicated that they were most likely buried some 800 to 1,000 years ago, although the nature of the death they suffered remains unknown. Cajamarquilla, where the mummies were found, is regarded as the biggest archaeological site in South America, and it has blessed the archaeological world with several fascinating finds, including the remains of a man with his hands bound to his face in the typical ceremonial fashion. So it doesn't come as a surprise that such a rich ancient site would be home to such a baffling find. This discovery stands as a testament to the brutal archaic practices of ancient civilization, and through the stories of these people, we can be able to rewrite the history of our world piece by piece and discovery by discovery. Number 1. The Tomb of China's First Emperor the last destination on our tour of some of the strangest and unexplained discoveries ever made is China. More precisely the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the founder of the Qin Dynasty, and the first emperor of a unified China. The tomb was accidentally discovered back in 1974 by farmers who were digging for a well. As they dug deeper into the earth, some strange figures started to come to light. Terracotta statues made in the image of ancient Chinese warriors. The discovery instantly gained national attention, and soon an archaeological investigation was underway. What they found was nothing short of astonishing. The site was said to have featured three large underground chambers containing shattered fragments of terracotta warriors. These clay figurines were both lifelike and life-sized, with details that would make even the most skilled sculptor of the modern world blush. From the facial structure to the dress, everything was finely crafted to perfection and even bore traces of the original paint at the time the discovery was made. As the expedition progressed, the researchers discovered that what seemed to be an isolated grave for a terracotta army was in fact a massive tomb complex of the first emperor. After declaring himself the supreme ruler of the unified empire of China, Qin Shi Huang embarked on this massive project to immortalize his existence, cementing his name as a legendary figure in the history of ancient Asia. This tomb covers an area of about 3.9 square miles and is centered around a tumulus. The system of this site is so extensive and complicated that it continues to astound modern architects and designers who can't seem to fathom how ancient humans were able to accomplish such a daring feat of engineering. Even after almost 40 years of excavation, starting with the original discovery in 1974, only a fraction of this site has been excavated with new discoveries being made every single year. But that's not where the mystique ends. You see, beneath this tumulus lies the original resting place of the first emperor, a place so steeped in legend that no one has dared to pry open its doors. Not even the treasure hunters who are always scouring through ancient tombs for relics. According to legend, the burial place is said to contain a river of mercury flowing endlessly through the passage of time, as well as a dome depicting the celestial vaults. There are also stories about curses and impending doom if the eternal sleep of the emperor was ever disturbed. So many archaeologists have been quite skeptical about exploring such a forbidden place. Many decades have passed since the site was first discovered, but no one has ever dared to look within the emperor's chamber and it isn't likely that it would be explored for quite a while. For now, the secret chamber holds its secrets tight within its confines, but maybe one day, we may find the courage to open its doors without unleashing an unprecedented terror against the whole world. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.